Hello, I'm Commander Exegius, and today we're going to be looking at how to use a modern phone as a VR headset with Elite Dangerous. For this to work, you'll need a current generation phone, the higher end the better, and some kind of VR headset device such as Gear VR, Google Cardboard, or any of the simple third-party devices available. You'll also need to have Elite installed through Steam. Don't worry, if you didn't purchase Elite via Steam, you can get a key to add it to your Steam library. I'll leave a link about this in the description below. The first thing we should do is set expectations. While this does work and allows you to play Elite in virtual reality, it is not going to be the same experience as a gaming VR headset, such as the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. The major limitation will be positional head tracking, meaning if you lean forward, your view in VR will not lean forward. This will be simple VR tracking only. Depending on the model of your phone and PC specs, the image quality will also be significantly less than the aforementioned gaming headsets. Now that we've set expectations, let's look at setting this up. First, as mentioned, you'll need Elite installed via Steam. You'll also need to download and install vRidge, linked below. Then, you'll need the vRidge 2 app installed on your phone, which is available in the Google Play Store. At this time, vRidge is not available on iOS. Once you've downloaded vRidge to your PC, run the rather simple installer. At the end of the install, it may prompt you to install an updated version, which you should do. Now, with your phone connected to your PC via USB, launch vRidge on your mobile and RiftCat should connect to it, confirming your device when detected. Once detected, simply click on the large start button, which will launch Steam VR. If it's not installed, you'll need to do so at this time. At the end of the Steam VR install, you'll be taken through the setup process. You'll choose seated and when prompted, set the height at your rough head height while seated. I used 40 inches. At the end of the Steam VR setup, you should see a grid on your phone that will reposition as you move your phone around. If you haven't, install your phone in your VR headset and launch Elite via Steam by right clicking and choosing Launch Elite Dangerous in Steam VR mode. As Elite launches, you should see it displayed in your headset with view tracking functional. At this point, you can launch into game as normal. Depending on the quality you get in the headset, you may need to adjust the settings in RiftCat and or in Elite to improve the tracking speed or image clarity. While this can be run over a Wi-Fi connection, a direct USB connection is greatly preferred. Depending on what graphic options you've been using, I'd suggest lowering them to VR Low at first upping the quality after you have things working. While it's unlikely you'll be able to play Elite in an acceptable way using this method, it is a great way to try Elite in VR to see if it's something you'd like to upgrade to. I'm often asked about Elite in VR and I always sum it up like this. Without VR, Elite is a beautiful space video game. With VR, you're flying a f***ing spaceship. It really is that big of a difference. Hopefully this simple guide will have you enjoying the galaxy and wonderful virtual reality quickly and will help with your decision in purchasing a VR headset. As I don't use this in a production way, I've included a few links in the description to support resources if you have trouble beyond the scope of this guide. I'd love to hear from you if you're using this on a daily basis and what your experience has been. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you'll have a look at my library of Elite Dangerous videos on a wide variety of subjects. You can also join me each week for my live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays and Friends on Fridays, and I hope you'll consider supporting my efforts by subscribing via Patreon. <laughs>